Yo, what's happening, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Hover here, coming at you with a brand new tutorial today. Today, we got a tutorial on Twixter and Sony Vegas Pro 11. This tutorial will also apply for Sony Vegas Pro 9, 10, and of course 11, which we are highlighting today. Today's clip that I will be using is uh, was featured in my free for all advertise. If you guys missed it, you gotta go right here. Um, the free for all advertise. Be sure to check that out. I'd really appreciate it. Um, a little bit of self promoting right there, but oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? So let's take care of that right quick. Now, uh, let's boot up Sony Vegas Pro 11, shall we? Now, before we get started, make sure you go to File, you go to Properties. Make sure that you got 1280 by 720. Make sure your frame rate is 59.94 and not 29.970. 59.94 optimizes the Twixter and prevents that laggy, shady Twixter that you guys see in, uh, in videos which are 29.97. So be sure it's 59.94. These are the rest of my render settings. Uh, if you guys want them, let me know. I'll make only a render setting tutorial. I think that they're pretty solid. So, um, yeah, I already have that. So let's begin without further ado. You go to File, Import, Media. Then you look for your track. My track is specifically on my desktop. You guys go to wherever you had your clip and you import it from then. Free for all collateral. Now drag it into your timeline, and you gotta split the clip. So let's see, where is the clip? Okay, this I see the guy there. So let's split it right there. Let's delete. It's S to split, by the way. It, <clears throat> voice crack, but uh, it's S to split, by the way. For those of you guys who don't know, let's let's drag this to the beginning. Now you see the guys, the black bars over there. Now to take care of that. All you do is you go to vent pan crop. You crop that in slightly, just a little bit. Now, what I like to do is I like to, I like to hold down the control button or the command button on the Mac. It's a control button on uh, Windows. Hold on control. Go to your top segment over here. Drag it in a little bit. You see that gives a little black bar effect. I think that looks a little bit more professional. So um, yes, let's let's go with that. Now uh, let's quickly render this. Or let's not. Okay, either way. Now let's get started without further ado. Now, for Twixter, you most likely like to optimize it where you're zooming into your scope. Now I'm gonna look for where I'm zooming into my scope. You could, you could navigate across the timeline using the arrows on your keyboard, as well as dragging it. So let's get to the shot. Now, it's right here. See, this is where I begin to zoom. So you're gonna hit S again on your keyboard to split the clip. And I want the Twixter to begin before I get into that. So let's say I want a Twixter till here. Hit S again. Now that you have this taken care of, you can drag that there. You can drag it there. This is what you need that's more important at this moment. It's that little segment that you guys see in the middle. You see this? Okay. Now how to apply Twixter in Sony Vegas Pro 11. Oh, messing with the timeline. Okay. So this is my clip. You go to right here, Event FX. Uh, you go to third party plugins. Usually it'll just be in Sony, but uh, it's not in Sony, so you gotta go to third party. Then you go to either Twixter, Twixter Pro, or Twixter Vectors N. Personally, I don't know what Twixter Pro is. I just use straight Twixter. I don't think it should matter. As I've heard from previous tutorials, so you just go to straight to Twixter. Click on Twixter. Hit OK. Now, what you see here is you get this little kind of box thing right here. Let me just uh, shrink this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Got this. Oops. There we go. This little box. It says Twixter display, time remap, speed, frame, track quality, motion science, yada, yada, yada. Don't mess with any of this stuff. The only thing you guys need to mess with is the speed percentage. Now, if I. Right now it's at 100% since the clip, the clip is running at normal speed. 100% is normal speed. If I were to drag this up all the way to 1000, it turns red as you see in the background. That's because this clip cannot account for 1000% speed up because it's 59.94 frames per second, right? We don't have that many frames to account for a thousand percent. Same thing goes as if I drag it down too much, if I go to like 200, we don't have that many frames to mess with. So let's just, for our purposes, I'm gonna make this, let's say 10. I think that's uh, more than reasonable. Now, once you do that, you notice that your clip stays the same, right? It looks like it's the same length. Now what I want you guys to do is uh, shrink this real quick, go back to this. Right when you see this, maybe you want to go in a couple more frames here, and you want to zoom this in all the way in, go left a little bit, 
you want to stop the twig string right here so that the next frame in is you shooting. So split this. You guys could do this right before, uh, you don't have to do what I did there. I just realized that I made a mistake. So right here, you see that? That's the exact like, next frame is zooming in. Now what you got to do is you're going to need a lot of space. You got to drag that over. Expand this. Now you have this little section right here. Now to expand the clip, you just go right to the end of the clip and you drag it out. Okay. That's all you got to do. It's still twixtering. So let's keep on dragging. It's still twixtering. Where is it? No, it's not. We're, we're done. Now you go back a couple frames. I personally like to expand the entire thing to, you know, make it look good like that. Go back some frames. See, that's when it's beginning to blend in back up a little bit. See, that's where you are right now. Go a couple more frames in. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get the point. You, you, you got to make it kind of precise so it looks good. See, that's exactly where we stopped. We hit the S again, split that. You can delete this since everything else is twixted. So, now you want to preview what your little twixter looks like. I'm running on best right now. For our purposes, I'm going to drop at the half. Ah, uh, that's not good enough. Quarter. I apologize. I got to mention, you got to split the audio too. To do that, all you got to do is click on your clip, hit U, because the audio is not Twixter, it's just your video clip. There we go. Now what you got to do again is take this, slide this in, and then this right here, right there, right there. Split the audio, hitting U on the keyboard while clicking on your clip. You click on your clip, hit U, delete the audio that separates the audio from the video track. Now you have your little uh, thing. I'll leave a little um, product finale at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. If there's anything else you guys want to see and if I know how to do it, I'll be sure to let you guys know and I'll do the tutorial for you. So until next time, guys, it's been your boy Jehovah signing out. Thank you, and uh, once again, be sure to stop by by my channel and check out my free-for-all outage. All right, guys, thank you, and until next time, it's been your boy Jehovah signing out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. What you guys currently see on your screen right now is a product of what I explained in the tutorial. Hope you guys like this. Um, I guess I could have put a transition on that. I messed up on one frame, so I went back and I fixed it. So, uh, until next time, guys, it's been your boy, Jehova. Be sure to subscribe, drop a like, favorite, so you can come back to this tutorial later. And follow me on Twitter if you're not following me yet. I am going to start getting active on Twitter. So, yeah, um, thank you. Bye.